Hello everyone. Now we will calculate the intensity of electric field due to the dipole system. But यहाँ पर electric field intensity हम किसी भी general point पर calculate करेंगे। वो point ना तो axial line पर है और ना ही वो point equatorial line पर है। So the point is situated at any general point. From the diagram, it is very clear here that is let us consider Z is that general point where we have to calculate the intensity of electric field or ye z point center of dipole se x distance per separated hai it is also clear from the diagram that is this z point that is any general point it is making an angle theta from the axis of the dipole we know that for electrical dipole system the direction of electrical dipole moment is from negative charge to positive charge. So, here we have a different analogy use karni hai, general point for electric field calculate karne ke liye. Aage barne se pehle, hume kuch points ya focus karne hai. That is, hum logo ne electric field intensity axial point par bhi calculate kar chuke hai. और हम इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी इक्वेटोरियल पॉइंट पर भी कैलकुलेट कर चुके हैं इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट एक्सियल पॉइंट इट इज इक्वल टू के 2p अपॉन x क्यूब वेयर k हियर इज कूलम्स कांस्टेंट 1 अपॉन 4 पाई एप्सिलॉन नॉट एंड p इज द इलेक्ट्रिकल डायपोल मोमेंट एंड x इज द डिस्टेंस अप टू व्हिच वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू द एक्सियल पॉइंट इज पैरेलल टू द electrical dipole moment or electrical field equatorial line ke liye is equal to k p upon x cube and the direction is opposite to the electrical dipole moment hence in order to calculate electric field at any general point we will use these two formula or yaha par ek point ye bhi yaad rakhna hai ki direction yaha bahut important hai to yaha par hum log is electrical dipole ko now we are talking about the calculation of electric field intensity at any general point. So here electrical dipole moment ko hum do parts mein divide karenge. Hum isko resolve karenge. Kyunki hum kisi bhi point par electric field intensity calculate karna chaate hai. Aur wo point center of dipole se x distance par separated hai. Yane ki humare paas ek angle hai. तो अगर एक वेक्टर क्वांटिटी किसी एंगल पर सेपरेटेड होती है तो हम उस वेक्टर को उसके दोनों कंपोनेंट्स में रिजॉल्व कर सकते हैं तो अगर डायग्राम को क्लियरली हम लोग देखें दैट इज दिस ओ जेड इज अ रेफरेंस पॉइंट ऑन व्हिच द वेक्टर क्वांटिटी दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल डायपोल मोमेंट मेक्स एन एंगल थीटा हियर तो यहां पर मैं इलेक्ट्रिकल डायपोल मोमेंट को टू कंपोनेंट्स में स्प्लिट कर सकता हूं so one component is horizontal component and another component is vertical component so let's split the components of electrical dipole moment so if i extend this reference line here then the electric field then the vector along this direction that is along the line to the point z that is this is p cos theta and the perpendicular component, the perpendicular component is that is P sin theta. This point ko main dubara se clarify karna chahunga. Let us consider this is an electrical dipole and this is the direction of electrical dipole. This is negative charge and this is positive charge. And this is some point that is Z point. At this point we have to calculate the electric field. So this is the line joining to the center of dipole to the point z this line makes an angle theta from the electrical dipole moment if i rotate this symmetry vector ke rules bolte hain ki hum vector ke angle ko change nahi kar sakte uske projection ko change nahi kar sakte hum space mein vector ko kahi bhi rakh sakte hain to agar main is vector ke orientation ko thoda sa change karta hu but condition is that i am not changing the height of vector I am not changing the inclination of the vector. So if I move like this, 
so this is the x distance here this is z point here and this is the electrical dipole moment direction so this angle is theta when this angle is theta from the electrical dipole moment so this component along the x is p cos theta and the perpendicular component is p sin theta since we have split it electrical dipole moment in its two components that is horizontal component and vertical components then we can say there are two dipoles one dipole is p cos theta and another dipole is p sin theta agar hum is diagram ko observe kare to z point jo hai wo p cos theta ke axial line par hai और z पॉइंट p sin theta के लिए इक्वेटोरियल लाइन पर है क्योंकि हमने इस डाइपोल को दो कंपोनेंट्स में स्प्लिट किया है और वो दो कंपोनेंट्स दो डाइपोल को रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं इसीलिए यहां पर z पॉइंट दोनों डाइपोल के लिए अलग-अलग पॉइंट फॉर्म करता है दैट इज अगेन आई रिपीट p cos थीटा के लिए z पॉइंट एक्सियल लाइन है और p sin theta के लिए z point equatorial line है और हमने already study किया हुआ है electric field due to equatorial line and electric field due to axial line also we have studied about the directions so in the formula of electric field due to axial line and equatorial line we have to put two values number one p cos theta when we talk about the axial line and p sin theta when we talk about the equatorial line so here only concentrate at the dipole that is p cos theta to z point jo hai wo p cos theta ke liye ek axial line hai aur axial line par electric field aur dipole moment ki direction same hoti hai to p cos theta this is p cos theta और दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड तो दोनों आपस में कैसे होंगे पैरेलल होंगे सो so, यहां पर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड की डायरेक्शन मैं कैलकुलेट कर सकता हूं दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ड्यू टू द हॉरिजॉन्टल कंपोनेंट इट इज इक्वल टू आई कैन राइट हियर ड्यू टू द पी cos थीटा दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू पी cos थीटा एंड आल्सो this z point is equatorial point for p sin theta so we can write electric field intensity at the equatorial point for the dipole that is p sin theta aur hame direction ke bare mein bhi yahan par pata hai that is electric field at equatorial and hence its direction is opposite to the dipole moment so this is the direction of p sin theta so what will be the direction of net electric field that is it in its opposite direction so here i can write i can mark here the electric field intensity due to the p sin theta so this is the electric field intensity due to the p sin theta so from the expression of the axial electric field i can change the electrical dipole moment by p cos theta here so electric field due to p cos theta it is equal to constant k and i can write here 2 p cos theta upon x cube so this is clear to you now the next point is the electric field due to p sin theta so again i can change here the value of p as p sin theta it is equal to constant p sin theta i have replaced electrical dipole moment by p sin theta upon x cube again from diagram that is the angle between p cos theta and the p sin theta is 90 degree so that the angle between the electric field due to p cos theta and the electric field due to p sin theta is also 90 degree so i can calculate the resultant electric field due to p cos theta and p sin theta let us consider this is the net electric field at any general point now we will calculate the resultant electric field here by the simple vector methods since 
all the components of electric field due to both the dipoles are separated at 90 degree so that the electric field intensity will be that is the net electric field intensity will be it is equal to now putting all these values here that is electric field due to p sin theta which we have already written here that is k p sin theta upon x cube now the whole power is square plus now i am putting here electric field intensity due to p cos theta so it is k 2p cos theta upon x cube and the whole square is here so that we can take some quantities common and after simplification i can write here that is k p upon x cube and inside the square root it is remain that sine square theta plus the square of 2 is 4 cos square theta again simplifying this we can write that is sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta with the help of trigonometric identity so it is 1 minus cos square theta plus 4 cos square theta after complete simplification i can write here this is electric field that is net electric field at any general point it is equal to constant p upon x cube 1 plus 3 cos square theta so this is the general expression for the net electric field at any general point of a dipole so we can change here the range of theta we can change at which point we have to calculate the intensity of electric field so it is clear here the intensity of electric field is totally depends on the angle and the point which is situated from the center of dipole so we can calculate all possible values at the acute angle at the zero degree angle at the 90 degree angle at the obtuse angle i can calculate any value for electric field due to the dipole for any general point now let's talk about the direction of the resultant electric field due to this dipole system that is let's say this angle is alpha here so the direction of resultant electric field it is equal to 10 alpha it is equal to perpendicular component of electric field upon horizontal component of electric field so that we can put here the electric field intensity due to p sin theta upon electric field intensity due to p cos theta now after putting the values of electric field due to p cos theta and p sin theta then after simplification we will get the result here that is sin theta upon 2 cos theta because of in both the expressions p upon x cube and p upon x cube are same here and constant k and k are same here so all these same quantities may cancel only in the fraction it is remains that sin theta upon 2 cos theta so this i can write here that is 1 by 2 tan theta so from this equation i can calculate the direction of the resultant electric field agar hum angles ko change karte hain और एंगल की रेंजेस को एक्सियल पॉइंट और इक्वेटोरियल पॉइंट पर लेकर आते हैं तो थीटा अगर 0 डिग्री है देन द सेट पॉइंट इज लाई एट द एक्सियल लाइन सो द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विल रिड्यूस्ड टू कांस्टेंट दैट इज के पी अपॉन एक्स क्यूब स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 1 प्लस 3 हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा इज 0 because of i am taking this z point at the axial line so at axial line this theta is equal to 0 so here the value of cos 0 will be 1 so electric field is equal to constant k here the value of 1 plus 3 is 4 and the square root of 4 is 2 so it is 2p upon x cube so this is the electric field intensity at the axial line now if we talk about the equatorial point then the range of the theta becomes 90 degree then cos 90 is equal to 0 so the net electric field at 
equatorial point becomes that is it is equal to k p upon x cube square root of 1 plus 0 because of cos 90 is 0 so the whole term that is 3 cos square theta will be 0 so the net electric field will be it is equal to constant p upon x cube so this is about the electric field due to dipole at any general point thank you so much